Uh, it's the rundown. It is Wednesday. It is April 17th. It is brought to you by Movement Watches. URL is mvmt.com slash rundown. 15% off free shipping returns. Watches us nice go for 400 to 500 department store. Movement Watches started just 95 bucks, so great deal. We have them. We love them. Movement Watches. Um, get you've been, involved. You've been crushing the dates. They're like four. Rough and Rowdy four. coming up. The what? Rough and Rowdy coming up. Friday. Yep, the 19th. Um, NHL playoffs. So the big, well, two, obviously the big story outside of the Barstool world, the Lightning swept. Just amazing. Uh, I can't believe that. You know, I'm not fruition. like a huge hockey guy, but in the scheme of all time upsets, I mean, it's got to be up there. Yeah. They, they were tied for the, like best, the best regular season. Team they were tied ever. for the best record ever. To lose was four. it like it would that, be like that, if that the Mariners fucking, team? If, Remember the yeah. Mariners team? What, yeah. what year was that? Yeah, but uh, somebody mentioned them. They, they they won their first round. Oh yeah, and that's they right. lost the Yankees. So, yeah, yeah, and the yeah. Yankees are a very good yeah, team. Yeah. So I mean, just not well, going to win a game. If the yeah. if the Warriors got swept in the first round, yeah, that's what when they if the Warriors from two years ago got swept. If the seventy three and nine Warriors got swept, it would be like that. It's amazing. Holy shit. Insane. Do you think you got to fire that coach? I think you got to do something different. I think you got to fire the coach. Well, especially oh, when just gave him, they like, just gave him like a huge extension too. Insane. Yeah. How, it's crazy. I mean, we sat here in these exact chairs ridiculous right talking now. about how there's no chance they get swept. We, I mean, crazy. we literally talked about that. That. What was the final number? How much would you You would have lost about 580 grand. If you bet on, 10 in the game. If you start. bet 10 on the yeah. unit. Now I'm deep with fucking idiots because I tweeted out. If you did double or nothing on a 10, 10 grand, I put the odds of every game in the tweet, and I'm still dealing with people being like, well, if you bet 10, it would have been 20, then 40. It's like, shut up. Um, but yeah, <laughs> stunning. And then, of course, uh, we had the Marty Mush Frankie Borelli show. Are you fucking kidding me? First second you sit down in my goddamn apartment, they're already losing 14, 40 seconds into this fucking game. Turn the game off in that room. I refuse to let you guys watch a game in that room. I'm turning it off. I saw you walk out here, you piece of shit. You shut the fuck up. That's tough. No, I'm not fucking kidding. No, if you're gonna laugh, leave. Two on one! Two on one! Oh! Let's go! Yeah! Let's go! God. The Islanders. The ride heard around the world. Yeah, that was weird. That was Go! Good win! Go in the net. Go in the net! Go! Uh, I mean, what I mean Frankie went reverse cowgirl on you. Yeah, that like at something. what point were you like, hey, this is weird that Frankie's just sitting on my lap and he's riding me. <laughs> it just went a little too long. It was right. like a hug and then they fell and, and that's they fell fine. and then, but they then just it was kinda, just there like was a couple bounces. <laughs> it was that I just tweet, got weird. I just tweeted the couple, I was like, what the fuck is this? When you're in his you were in his presence, he's a madman. Yeah, he really I just did he is a madman. He really is. He also he, came in here today with a little smug face, like you got something to say to me. Like I gotta congratulate but him first, for every every playoff victory. They are actually he's telling me I haven't figured out exactly. Exactly. I do kind of know. He's saying, and I saw it, that right now they're they're the favorite to win the Stanley Cup. Now only them and Columbus have advanced. Correct. But I don't get that. Is it going to stay at six? It's six to no, one. No, they'll go down. It's yeah. just because well, they're guaranteed. Who the hell would the next ever round. bet them right now? Right. It would yeah, make no sense. Getting, but right. Right. It would make no sense. So them. Well, well, I think they just have to update the odds I'm, when someone advances. Yeah, or are those like, teams just going to go ahead of them? It's like they're always going to be 6 to Oh, one, they, that, be that might be the case. One, yeah, that might be the case. Why would you ever... There are, there yeah. are better teams than the Islanders that just haven't advanced. Yet. Correct. Right. But so they're, they're, not gonna, so, their odds they're not going to like, drop to 8 to 1. They're going to be 6 no, to 1. No, they'll stay right. there. But Got right. it. All right, yeah. Um, crazy, though. It's going to get heated in here, especially if we get a Caps-Isles series next round would be something. I don't think the Caps are... 
a shoe in by any stretch of the imagination. Also, just needs to be noted that the Islanders are fucked because they have to play in Brooklyn now. I don't think that's nearly the big deal that I do. Uh, the Coliseum's I, a pretty got, big home It's got Frankie mentally owned. I, I, he's, look, he's just shaking his head. I, I, you know, I think out of, out of every uh, like other team in professional sports, basically, right? This it actually matters. With I don't. Them. I don't think home ice matters in hockey. I'm a. It nut. definitely matters. It matters for the line changes. I, I just, it's like you look at the results and they're like, they're, it doesn't seem to matter. Yeah, but it, I mean, it matters simply for the line changes. Yeah, or like, that's an advantage. But I, I think I there, but there's you a look difference. look at the results. There's a difference between home ice advantage and basically playing like in a arena that everybody, including the players. The Coliseum. Best well, yeah, versus, I mean, like, versus yeah. No, I mean, yeah, the actual. Insane, but, but like, it's, yeah, like, that's the, it's, like, it's still their home. Like, the, Frank, the Islanders are going to they're on the road. You know what I mean? They're like, it's such a shitty place to play hockey. shook. It's not a regular home ice. You're shook. It's just more that this team. I, I just don't. Like, I don't, don't put. Here. I don't put much stock in home ice. You're not going to get me down today. Ice. No, I'm not trying My to get you down. My team just but swept it, it the team for the first time since 1983. I am living a life of so, luxury and highness. <laughs> Boomer and, and Geo were talking about, like, could they actually get this? That's changed. a home run, I think. Is that possible? So Lula Morello. So they were supposed to play. There was like some. Uh, yeah, school, with the Mets or the Phillies. There yeah. you go. There was some like little kids concert going on at the, at the, the Coliseum. The fair is happening. Yeah, Wait, but like um, in, in round one, and oh, okay. the Islanders were supposed to have Wednesday, Thursday. Lou Lamorello called up the little concert and said, "I don't know what I gotta do. I'll yeah, pay well, you guys." So they, they tried so they to move it back it. to the Coliseum. Oh, this was for game one. For game one and two, Lou like canceled the concert, right got now, it done, gave I'm, him a day off. So like people were saying like. Will he do that for well, round isn't two? It the NHL it's just like people like, already have their tickets for the Barkers. So how are you going to do that? I, I get it because th- this is going to become a very New York thing where it's going to become a hot ticket. And you're, you, there's no sweets. There's Coliseum no sweets. has zero sweets. Mm-hmm. It's a dump. like actually zero. Zero. And like the, the, that's, that's why it's great. It, it's that's a, why it's great. actually zero. Yeah, yes. they didn't redo like, them. one. No, there used there's to be for like fans. No, there used to be a whole thing of sweets. But then when they redid the Coliseum, they didn't think the Allens were ever going to come, so they didn't put the money into redoing the sweets. You also that was really have you, have you have, so you haven't gone to the Coliseum. You can't. Go, I have. I have been to the National Coliseum, but for a concert a long time. You can't go to for an hour. No bathrooms. It's crazy. There's no bad. You can't go to bathroom. It's the worst arena in the world, but it's that's why it's like three right. But I get it. But this, I saw but fish this there is like going to become this is going to become it's a New York. Center. The mm-hmm. Frankie Borelli is going to get pushed right to the side, mm-hmm. and they're going to be the like, suits oh, are coming he, in. Right, yeah, all the big wigs on Wall in. Street, yeah. and Frankie's going to be to his guy. Hey, it's Frankie Borelli, and they're going to be like, who's this? And all the big wigs. He's going to be. That's bad juju. This is why they can't. This is see. I told you. I take all my. It shouldn't be about this. It should be about the team playing well. It should be about the team like having a great home ice advantage. I, mean, I know you don't agree with. If they are as good as you hope they are, they, it, they, they should be able to play on the moon. It is right. kind of like a but disadvantage for the other team coming in too, right? The ice sucks. They like the don't like sucks. staying in Brooklyn. Like you have to take the train in. It's a hard, it's a horrifying well, well, experience. Outside of the Coliseum, sports, home field advantage. Where do you put I mean, home you, ice? Do you count college by sports? No, let's just say okay. Pros. No college sports. Yeah, I and mean, hockey has. To I mean, there. baseball. I always count just because you get last bottom. Yeah, yeah. I that also actually changes the game. I, right, like, right. I, last up. I think football. I also, I also think like play, batting in like a, the same spot helps. Like seeing you get used to like your home. Yeah, view. I, I think if you have like a, a cold weather huge. football. Yeah, I mean that's basketball. Like, I think is huge. I think hockey is distant for. I think basketball's the least. No. Why? The crowd when you get on a run crazy. in basketball it affects hockey, the officials though. way yeah. more. In like same basketball. in hockey, though. No, hockey. No, no I think hockey matters. You're a little more removed. Hockey, you don't think a hockey official like, kind of gets like when the whole place way. goes, exactly. oh. When you're on the ice, sometimes. you don't hear it the way like exactly. courtside fans are like in your ear. Right, exactly. but you get the last change and like you're sleeping yeah. at home. I feel like in such a crazy sport where you're so tired and getting banged up. I mean, now we're really going for it. What? I'd it's be interested really to see the stats on it. Advantage. I mean, I watch the NHL playoffs. I just feel like you, it doesn't but matter. And I'm also you think there's a difference between home ice and this Coliseum Barclays yeah. thing? No. I think it's night and day. Because you're still, it's like not just about who has home ice. It's like nobody, like even when you're home games, you're not, you're basically on the road the whole time now. I just don't think it matters. I don't know. I, I, and I'm hearing that like the Players Association gets money from all Stanley playoff games. So that's why like a lot of like the league is pushing for them to play in a place that makes more revenue. So that's they really have no chance. I mean, money. Yeah, yeah that's money. not a shock. Bullshit. 
Um, you know what they should do is Kate the Murray. Coliseum. There's just state fair, fair coming up. That's good at the Coliseum. They should, you're going to be playing hockey at the Barclays while there's like a Ferris wheel and cotton candy the at the Coliseum. Coliseum. Here's the easy Kate Kate fix. Kate Murray. Kate easy Murray. fix. Such a bitch. We'd be playing in a brand new Coliseum right easy now. We've already won three, Coliseum, three Stanley Cups. Is Get it going. Every road game, yes, every road game you have to sell out the Coliseum as well. All that revenue goes. Congratulate me. No. I don't congratulate first round winners. Um... So Soldier Boy went back to jail. A couple guys just robbed him because they knew he was in jail. And then they did him dirty because his cell phone was in there and they started taunting him on the cell phone, making videos, and then hitting up his contact list, being like, hey, we got hot new music. We want to feature it. I fucking hate Soldier Boy, so good. You're so spiteful. Oh, he got you. See, yeah. Big time, dude. Like, literally, Frankie, I was in there for 20 minutes while he was just sitting in the car. And then he came in for five seconds, like, you're not ready? It's like, Soldier Boy. I've been sitting in here for half an hour waiting for him. So maybe he comes He's in the car. Oh no, I don't walk for Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy walked to here. The pizza review's here. Wow. He's Soldier Boy. Dude. I mean, he's he's yeah. a big he's big time. So. Well, he's in jail, so. Yeah, but he Tough. got if you, the last this, lap. As far as if I know my guy Soldier Boy, this might be all a part of an elaborate promotional ruse. Could be. And you're not in on it, then. Are you? You're in out. It? Uh, maybe. How do you know? You know what he's probably gonna do? You know what he's probably gonna do? I bet you. He's gonna unveil uh, some security feature on the soldier phone. And yeah, be like, this won't, this wouldn't happen to you if you had a soldier phone. Yeah, it is kind of put wild ADT that, out of business. He just, he just Although, left his phone yeah. there. Well, no, like, that the criminals would like put their faces were, on it. But yeah, this is all. Oh, that's this is all soldier. Smitty was able to do that. Someone was able to do that on Smitty's phone when he was passed out and sent me that text. Correct. He, it didn't lock. Uh, Anti-Semitic. Somebody was able just to get right in there and do everything. No problem. It's fact. There's proof. So it's maybe anybody before. can do it. It's happened before. <laughs> uh, the, the craft sex tape, the prosecutor is saying, this is crazy. I do not get this. Prosecutor is gonna said he's going to release the sex tape. I was reading an article. It was in the Globe who, do, who wants to see it. They said the prosecutors are doing basically an end around. They're not going to wait for what the... Nope. You did, yeah. no pun intended. But they're not going to wait for what the courts say. They're just going to do it before the courts rule. This, to me... I don't know what the hell is going on. I, I, me and Frankie were talking about the cat in our Uber to get pizza, and the Uber driver's like, somebody must be paying off the prosecutor. People, pages, I views. I just don't, what? It seems like a gross violation. This is a <laughs> non-issue because there's no sex trafficking. They admitted they were wrong. Everything they said in the beginning was wrong. Like, you're just, just I guess, trying to off. embarrass Bob Crow. I don't, yeah. what possible other explanation could wow. there be? So let's talk about the real story here. The video, when it comes out, that will be the most important blog you write. Breaking down the video. Well, uh, it's gonna it's gonna not be like quality enough footage though to really. Who knows? Well, somebody sent the gif of Michael Scott talking to us. Uh, yes. The yeah. only only thing I'm worried about is getting a boner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I'm worried about. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> getting a boner. Uh, yeah, but you're gonna have to write a blog, and it's gonna have to be. Uh, Fabulous blog, breaking down all the angles and everything. I don't know. I, I don't think he wants to talk about it, so I may oh, write. Oh, I so definitely I guess, don't think he wants yeah. to talk about it. I may but write. you're just in his back pocket. No, so I, I will write like a payroll. what if, like a choose your own adventure. I'll dream what it probably looked like and maybe write it or something. It also That actually be funny if you did a fucking... Uh, like fanfic, right? Like yeah. Robert Kraft well, rides in on this big white stallion. You know what we should do and, is, and whips out his his. Highlight. It's like what, 15 when inch we hog. were gonna remake the Des Bryant video. <laughs> yeah. We should oh, just God. remake a Bob Kraft video. Listen, I don't. It, it, and <laughs> not to mention, the by the way, these police officers and should be like thrown in jail. So they faked the bomb scare to put in the cameras, and there's just like a lot of normal people who are like getting totally naked, getting normal massages, just. A well, cop's that's probably got, that's jacking off to like a 20-year-old girl. There was a 20-year-old girl. Cops, these dirty cops, and they want to do this just to embarrass a man. It's terrible. Um, Wait, what, was it about a 20-year-old girl? I don't there, know. There was a... A patron? Or like yes. a girl? Who here, here, no, what a 20-year-old patron. <laughs> girl, a 20-year-old girl went to get a ha like a happy... No, no she just she got, got a massage. massage. But that, that poor girl just when stumbled Dave into gets, the wrong place. When Dave like, sinks what the fuck? Listen, Kevin, when Dave sinks his teeth into a case... He'll yeah. find something, Every and when he too. finds something, well, they're suing that poor twenty-year-old girl. The, 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 no, the, the this, normal. This girl is just like, oh, these are great. Yeah, I'm surprised you get a nice rub down. Like, that, but that's what happened. Yeah. It's like normal people, and when you get massaged, you go, you get naked. But, Justice and, for and, Nancy. And there's these police officers <laughs> like, like, sitting there. Yeah, he's the way. He's the second way. Go fund He finds that angle, and he's just like, that's just. We're not here to talk about Robert Kraft. It's the poor twenty-year-old girl. No, but they are literally suing the police department. I know. Yeah. We need justice. Well, if, if 
You know, go fund me for Dan, it. if you have another kid, it's a girl, I'm not going to mention, but what, the police are eating <laughs> popcorn as like, that's horrible. I'm just laughing at the fact you found this angle and it's like, that's going to be the end. Well, it's a lawsuit. It came out yesterday. The, yeah. the innocent victims who are being taped getting a massage naked while these fucking dirty cops in Florida literally are like doing an orgy to it. It's disgusting. Um, <laughs> This Jeopardy guy, there's a new Jeopardy guy. They're he, doing an orgy to he, the he's, girl. He's on pace. Doing an orgy is <laughs> to break. Orgy to the girl. You ever do an orgy? That's, you ever do an you, orgy? That's, I mean, I'm, I'm complimenting you, Dave. When you find a, 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 when you get in a case, you dig through it, you get you deep did, into he, it. He did this with the LeBron school. You find too. it. He had stats about the LeBron school. And now school we got cops doing oh. orgies. Well, I, mean, I, don't want, I don't want to get into LeBron school, but it's just all paid by the like, taxpayers. <laughs> Like LeBron gave like 10 Don't cents. let Dave Portnoy get in on a case. Jeopardy guy. Uh, so he's, there's this new he Jeopardy guy. He's the greatest guy. competitor he, he's in the world. He won right 100 now. grand twice. He bets big. He's a, I guess he was a professional better from Vegas. Now upsets can happen, but he's on pace to shatter every record of all time. It took Ken Jennings 75 episodes to make $2 million. He's made almost 600 in nine days. So here's he my question. He's going to blow him out of the fucking water. I'm not a big Jeopardy guy. Does he, if he just never loses, he never loses? I believe so. So Ken, like, it was just go until you lose. Uh, How long did he go? 75. That's 70, crazy. 75 episodes? Yes. That's wow. crazy, yeah. Yes. Who and, took and him down? Uh, it, I, 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 it was some girl, and, like, she... Was he shocked? Yes, because he got Final Jeopardy wrong, and Alex, so, and so, like, when his answer came up, the girl was like... <gasps> because like, she like nobody she, could believe no. it. It was unbelievable. This guy... I mean, he he dominates the one day challenges. Like the previous highest was seventy seven grand. He's at one hundred and ten. I've never seen his final Jeopardy bets are forty grand. People used to like hope to get to forty in the whole show. That's his bet. On I've final never seen Jeopardy. Clem so excited about anything. He's, he's like walking around. What time is Jeopardy on? Seven o'clock. It's is? tough with I, like when you if you're watching baseball, it's tough. But he's, I, uh, he's on the greatest game show streak and maybe just what channel is streak? it on? Seven. Every Easy. channel I feel like Jeopardy is on. Got yeah. it. The, I've never I, been Jeopardy. He's guy. the best. I like Jeopardy. I was he, he, guy. Dude, he's getting so uh, cocky. He, he, he's betting his final Jeopardy so that the final number uh, he wins is birthdays of family members. I don't think that's a thing. What? What you just said. What? You can't, like, those aren't. What? That, what I you, never you was said? a big Jeopardy or Real Fortune guy. I was a Price is Right guy. No, that's different, though. That's yeah, no, they're day, different that's times. Daytime and that's daytime. Yeah, no, different, I know. They're different, different times. Leagues. I just never got that's into That's like saying. But I like I the know. more interactive games. I, didn't, I don't like the static, uh, you know, nature of, of Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune. I like the to see movement on the screen. I, you, I do. You I, can like, be like, I like to see people running down. I like to see Plinko. I like to see the golf. You're a simpleton. I like to see everything. You're a simpleton. But those two aren't. I've never been more right. They're game shows. What about No, I know they're totally different. You can, be, a you can be Wheel of Fortune or oh, you can Jeopardy, like them all. but you yeah. can't be like a more of Price is Right guy. They're yeah, I am. I like, the, I, like, I like how apples interactive it is. Yeah, but, but dude, I mean, spinning di- a giant... Like yeah, I like oranges. oranges. I don't like apples. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, what? I, I, die. I don't like apples. You're, I like oranges. If you gave me an apple and orange, Price is Right is like 11 a.m. You're sick for the day. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. yeah, no, that's different. Price is Right is just a good old grand old time. It's like the other that, ones, I only yeah, have that, a certain that's, amount of that's time. I'm right. like I'm uh, uh, I'm not a Kath, uh, a Regis and Kathy Lee guy. I'm more of like a uh, Jimmy Fallon guy. Like yeah, like late night and daytime. Or yeah. I wasn't even gonna say that. I was gonna be like um, L.A. Order. <laughs> L.A. What? Order. Those are Wait, I mean, we, those we also are, hopped in the time one, machine for that. Reference. They're both game shows. I was trying to think order. of the New York police show. And no, yeah. no, that that doesn't work. That's how different. No, they're both, both game shows. Yeah, but they're t- they're both game shows. This guy's uh, the Jeopardy's wife. Guy's wife won twenty eight grand on like a Who Wants to Be a Millionaire at one point. So they're just a whiz so couple. Just, yeah. I like Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. That's nothing. That's static. That's yeah. literally nothing. I know, but it was. Uh, it was, it was people 20, you know what? You know what it was? Twenty eight thousand. You know what it was? Wants to be a millionaire. That's like a second nothing. question. It was. You stink. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire was cool because it was back when having a million dollars like holy shit. Oh yeah. Like that was a two thousand or something. Yeah. That was a big deal. I'm woke by the way. You remember the guy who called his dad? Yeah. I think that was staged. Really? Think about if that happened now. Would you not call like bullshit like this is a viral moment? Yeah. He you're was right. so smart. He, he, he called And he was the and, first million, right? Yes. And they needed one. It was like, one. we need a millionaire. Yeah, to win. you're right. And then he did this very like noticeable thing that got press yeah. coverage. Wait. Dave's right. 28,000 is literally nothing. like the second question. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a game show family. They're so yeah. But no, that's, the 20, not, that's not expressive. Like, well. like, like if I won $28,000 on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, I wouldn't tell how, anyone. How do you even win that? That means you left with it. You, that means you walked off you on quit. like the $64,000. Yeah. 
from a gambling family. This guy is literally betting like everything he has. Yeah. Every I, that's. Yeah. I don't like. It. Some, that's that not, sounds fishy. That's also just not something to brag about. No. Just be like, oh, guess what? I walked yeah, you away almost, at the fourth question. You almost go viral <laughs> yeah. for the wrong yeah. reasons. Yeah, there. right. It's like the people get the first question wrong. Right. I, I, I used all my lifelines on the first three questions. Yeah. Uh, Dwayne Wade was chugging wine, uh, playing golf. I hate to see it. Disgusting. Uh, LeBron, LeBron, not, LeBron. You know what, Dan? It's not disgusting. We shouldn't shame him. He's got a problem. It's well, why does, does help But why Listen, does he have a problem? Dave, well, you are the company that you think about. Right? Think about LeBron's best friends. What has happened to them? Dwayne Wade alcoholic. quit his job. Alcoholic. Yep. Carmelo Anthony quit his job. Alcoholic. Yep. I see a trend. I mean, the, he he his kids are alcoholics. Everybody around <laughs> LeBron James is an alcoholic. <laughs> he missed the playoffs. Is it weird? Do you find it? He, t- he slept through his he slept through his Christmas party. Remember that? When he's like, "Yeah, I went to sleep at seven o'clock, and I woke up the next day. It was like ten a.m. That's an alcohol." Do you think that Dwayne Wade would even have had to retire if he wasn't an alcoholic? Well, maybe he had some good years left if yeah. he wasn't drinking too much. Also, I find it strange that the year that LeBron officially de- uh, developed a drinking problem, he missed the playoffs. Yep, and All also his whole crew missed the playoffs. His whole, whole crew, crew missed call. the playoffs. Call. Call. Been saying and this, and we're just saying that because we look out for him. And alcoholics is a disease, nothing to make fun of. Um, to run down anything post show. Getting ready, we head to West Virginia tomorrow. I wrote the blog. For people who are debating Rough and Rowdy, of course, if you have gold, you get it for free. Gold Hardcore. Um, I suggest buying that. You get it for the month, you get it for free, and you get the, the Rough and Rowdy. But this, I think, will be the best one. Oh, by far. First time since we've owned the company, we're going back to real West Virginia. We did Morgantown, but that's like fucking Rodeo College Drive. College kids, yeah. Compared to where <laughs> no, we're going. No, it is. It really is. It's, yeah. We are going to a place where we're staying in a hotel that's 45 minutes away from where the yeah. fight is, because that's th- th- the closest is, hotel. Uh, that was Hank and he who should not be no, mentioned? No, no. That was, what was, yes, it? Different, it was No, that was Bluefield. Oh, Bluefield. But that was West Virginia. It was where uh, Tex fought his first fight. Correct, yes. The God. one we didn't yeah, own yeah, the Yeah, 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 that's yeah, the, yeah when yeah, you yeah, fought, yeah, yeah. when you almost got this, this, beat up by uh, Chris Bennett. That correct. Was, this is an area of the country where as you get close, first of all, when you go from the hotel to, although we're staying different places, when I went with Frankie and, and you what's stayed in that, in that kid's cemetery. Yeah, and there was they no- did. They did, they stayed did. in the children's there, there, cemetery. There was no cell phone service, not, not internet. There was, you couldn't use your phone, you couldn't place a phone call. Um, when you get closer to the, to the venue, it's just all Confederate flags. There was a sign that said, how many days since the last coal mining accident, we drove in, it was like six. When we drove out, it was one. It's, uh, it is, and they don't know that they were fought on the North in the Civil War. We asked that, like, we yeah. want, like, you know you lost, you got the wrong flag up, like what? Um, it is a wild place. Yeah, I'm excited. And we got some legends <laughs> coming back. No, we do, we have legends, Vito the Torpedo. She's at the She's Rizat. at the Rizat's my favorite fighter. Thor. In Rough and Rowdy. Thor is a monster. Thor, he who's he fight fighting? Uh, Travis Terman. Oh, I think he's fighting Travis Terman. The guy who stopped Thor? Ryan, the guy who stopped Ryan Young. Yeah, the top. Thor's fighting Travis Turner. I, I think so. Yeah, I think so. That I think is so a unbelievable, unbelievable. Fight. Yeah, I saw that battle yeah. Ryan. It is. I'm looking forward to him getting knocked out. But we got two guys who look in very good shape right here. By the way, uh, well, let me retract that. We got one guy in very good shape. The other one looks like a loaf of bread, and the loaf of bread just took one right in the face. But he comes in headbutt. What is that? I love that. He uses his head as a battering ram. Look at that. Just straight in. What I love. Who teaches that? Is that Freddie Roach who teaches that? Just use your head. The hardest part of the body is the top of the head. Lead in and occasionally, yeah, somebody's going to whack you right in the chin when you lead like that. This guy, uh uh-oh, this isn't working anymore. He goes! And there you go. Good night. It's over. We may have a slight delay in the action because that guy just got whacked. Travis Thur- Terman. These names, if you don't want Travis to see this Terman, shit, you're, you got no pulse. He made, Ryan Young was like the greatest rough and rowdy fighter in history, the, and he like made the him cop. the cop, yeah. and he made him never want to fight again. Shot. They're both just throwing, they're both throwing. Cops in a real fight for the first time, though. Ooh. Oh, oh no, he oh, stunned no. him there. He uh, stunned him, the cop got stunned, and down he goes. With one arm, With too. one threw hand. At, threw out his arm in the we, first round. Remember that? It's crazy. He threw a yeah. cement mixer at his face. We went out that night, and, and the cop was out, and he was just leaking blood. Yeah. And there's just blood coming out of his nose. He's <laughs> fighting Super Thor, Vito the Torpedo, Shiz at the Rizat versus Wade Woodruff, uh, Jacob Mead with a rematch with the guy That's that he claims the second he slipped one. against. Yep. Uh, the chicks are awesome, the chick fighters. Uh, that Thor versus Jesus, that's going to be a... 
battle. These are the best fights we've ever had at Rough and Rowdy. And I best colorful, yeah. It'll be a great Rough and Rowdy. So buy it. That's Friday night. Uh, we take off for that tomorrow. And I guess that's about it. Yeah, I don't think we have anything else. We have right. just gambling. Are you back in the thick of a thing? Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs>